Happy Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Rudd's here. We're going to do our uh, traditional Saturday shave, which will feature uh, one pass on the face with a straight, and then the dome shave with the uh, DE, as I've been doing recently. I think uh, most of you have been enjoying that. Um, so, beverage of the shave. Boom Sauce. I believe I've featured this before, but if I haven't, this is by Lord Hobo Brewing Company out of Woburn, Massachusetts. This is a uh, New England style IPA, complex, unfiltered, great drinkability. I agree with that statement. This stuff is smooth. Keep it cold, drink it fresh. So Boom Sauce is a... Uh, widely used term in New England and uh, cheers everyone 16 ounce cans great for a shave soap PAA Deja Fougere old school 8 ounce 10 brush of the shave is going to be my 28 millimeter foam mirror knot by chiseled face Mounted in an ivory whipped dog handle. For the face, a freshly honed ZY430 Plus. Six Ace, full hollow. On the head, we will do the Maggard V2OC on a Weber handle with a Gillette Silver Blue blade. And rounding out the shave, as always, the matching aftershave. So, wet the brush, dry puck. This is vegan, so for me, I don't think it requires blooming. Douglas's soaps load easily into the brush. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the brush. There we go. So, as I mentioned, I did one honing session today just on that razor. Um, trying to get into the habit of putting a razor to stones at least once a week. I did that last week, last weekend actually. So it was fitting since I had time to do it today. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm throwing lather everywhere. And uh, Just have no problem lathering up. It's actually a little bit on the dry side. Let me add some water here. I really wish Ron didn't discontinue these 28 millimeter knots. Um, They seem like a, a great size for face slash head lathering in one session. All right, we're all lathered up. On with pass number one. Quick congratulations to uh, Josh Grot or Grot, also known as Bald and Beardless. 
he just passed 500 subscribers on YouTube. I think I've spoken about him before, uh, but he is by far the most entertaining wet shaving YouTuber out there. And I mean that with all due respect because there's several guys I watch all the time. Uh, but Josh just has a great uh, personality. He's new to wet shaving. He dove head first in. Uh, his video editing skills are amazing. He adds quite a bit of content. to the uh, videos so check him out I will link his channel down below if you are not a subscriber of his please please subscribe he has two uh, formats one is his typical bald and beardless And the other is his working man's wet shave, which is geared towards um, affordable uh, gear. So pass number one is done. Nice and close. The uh, honing session went well. I'm going to uh, get cleaned up here. Get pass number two going uh, off camera. And then I'll uh, be back for the uh, head shave. So we'll see in a few. All right, we're back, folks. Um, all lathered up for the head shave. And I guess we're going to do a uh, extra credit beverage of the shave. I finished that boom sauce. And we're moving on to Mosaic Hero by Revolution Brewing. If you recall, I have uh, used, or drank, <laughs> used, drank Antihero, Crystal Hero, Citra Hero. I don't remember if I did any others. Um, but so we're going to uh, move on to that. Cheers. Another good one. Let's get this show on the road. So, one thing we're thinking about doing, and either Jeff Rydman or myself will post about this, is for the meetup, if there's something you're looking to try uh, and you want to organize an in person trade. In the uh, Facebook group dedicated to the meetup, we're going to put a uh, kind of like a want have thread, and you can start to arrange uh, trade transactions with folks so you can complete them that day down at Foxwoods. The uh, raffle table is filling up well. Received several shipments this week. Thank you all. Uh, I know Speegs has received some as well. So. We are within three weeks of the meetup and I'm excited. I think this is going to be the best one we've had yet. And dare I say the best one ever. I uh, I recently settled in on Gillette Silver Blues as my uh, blade of choice, and lo and behold, I 
found out they're made in Russia. Guess what? Most of my other favorite blades are too. Voshod, Laras. So it's something about those Ruskies that uh, they make good blades for me. <clears throat> UFC is on tonight. I'm not going to analyze the fights, but I think Steep Miocic retains his title. I think Fabricio Verdun has an easy time with uh, Travis Brown. And I think CM Punk is going to get his ass kicked. Anyhow. Oh, I should have shared this with you earlier, so I'll share it with you now. Uh, I was really intrigued by the uh, fine accoutrements Forever Blade Bank. Which is a uh, like a wall mount, which is allows you to uh, put your blades, your spent DE blades, <coughs> in the wall like they did ba back when. Uh, but I read some reviews on the fine offering. About it not being flat and true, and quite frankly, 15 bucks is a little steeper, a wall mount, so to speak. So I uh, decided to DIY, and uh, I'll share some pictures right now of what I did today. And a short clip of it in use so you can get a flavor for how it's working. So, as you can see. Nice, serves its purpose, not nearly as pretty as the one you can buy from Fine. Um, but yeah, I'm fairly happy with it. I, uh, I go through a blade every two shaves. That's just always been my rule of thumb. Even back when I was just a... Uh, DE face shaver. I don't see any reason to stretch a 12 cent blade further than two shaves. All right, we are smooth as a whistle. Let me uh, finish cleaning up and we'll be back for some closing comments. All right, we're back folks. Finish this shave off. I really do love the uh, PAA Deja Fougere. It's such a unique twist on the genre. Lots of skin food in it, I can feel it. Beautiful. All right, 
that's going to uh, sorry about that as I was saying that's going to do it for the shave uh, just want to recap real quick I'm not going to recap the whole shave but Boom Sauce by Lord Hobo Brewing was for the face and extra credit is uh, Mosaic Hero by Revolution Brewing I would recommend checking both out uh, if I had to choose one certainly the Boom Sauce Enjoy your Saturday, folks. Take care.